video we are going to discuss pharmacology of phenytoin phenytoin is also called as diphenyl hydantoin is one of the important anti epileptic agent classified under sodium channel blocking anti epileptic agent first mcq on this drug is it's a non sedative anti epileptic agent sodium channel blocking agent the second important mc question we have one drug called phosphenytoin very important phosphenytoin is a pro drug of phenytoin the advantage of phosphenytoin comparing to phenytoin is phosphenytoin is water soluble drug so easily and safely can be used intravenously or intramuscularly actually phenytoin used to parenterally for treatment of status epilepticus comparing to phenytoin phosphenytoin is safe on parenteral administration so when you want to use phenytoin in status epilepticus instead of phenytoin better to go for phosphenytoin for the safety purpose next important mc question phenytoin initially undergoes first order kinetic of excretion as we keep on giving the first order gets saturated once saturated the drug goes ultimately through zero order kinetic of excretion that mean initially undergo first order at the end undergo zero order kinetic of excretion thus why it is called as saturation kinetic of excretion but undergraduate level you can say phenytoin ultimately undergo zero order kinetic of excretion but exactly speaking it undergo saturation kinetic of excretion so in this slide we discuss about phenytoin mechanism of action that is sodium channel blocking category and what is the advantage of phosphenytoin comparing to phenytoin and third we discussed kinetic of excretion of phenytoin now we are going to study the adverse effects of phenytoin for understanding the adverse effect i am going to discuss in two things one is called acute adverse effect and chronic adverse effect first we go for discussion of acute toxicity that is whenever i give phenytoin immediately following phenytoin therapy some problem going to occur they call acute toxicity these toxicities are usually occur on high dose not at the normal dose usually on high doses now when i give phenytoin parenterally that is intravenously in case of status epilepticus that to high dose intravenous dose it may cause sudden cardiac arrest so one of the important side effect of this drug is cardiotoxicity in the form of causing cardiac arrest then when i give oral dose that to high dose acute high oral dose make affect vestibule and cerebellum resulting in vestibulo cerebellar toxicity the clinical symptoms of vestibulo cerebellar toxicity includes nystagmus ataxia diplopia and vertigo all these are symptoms occur in high dose resulting due to results due to vestibulo cerebellar damage so all these are occur only at the high dose not at the normal dose all this called acute toxicities of phenytoin now we are going to discuss one another very important acute problem when you give phenytoin intravenously remember when you give intravenously imagine suppose the drug get extra vasation extra vasation mean comes out of vein accidentally if the drugs comes out of vein mean it going to cause discoloration of the hand region into purple color it is called as 
purple glove syndrome so one more mc question purple glove syndrome is the side effect of which drug mean phenytoin that is uh, when you give phenytoin intravenously on extra vaccination it may cause problem of discoloration of the hand this is called as purple glove syndrome now we are going to study what are all the important chronic adverse effects of phenytoin see there are some epileptic patient phenytoin epileptic patient taking phenytoin chronically say one year two year three year in normal dose they take the drug chronically on chronic therapy what are the problem the most commonest side effect on chronic therapy of phenytoin is gum hypertrophy it's a very 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 important question why there is a gum hypertrophy it is due to collagen accumulation look at the gums there is a collagen accumulation resulting in gum hypertrophy it's the most commonest adverse effect of phenytoin on chronic therapy i go one by one other problems on chronic therapy it going to cause some hematological complication so what are the hematological complication number 1 it causes folic acid deficiency resulting in megaloblastic anemia so chronic therapy causing anemia here the question is phenytoin on chronic therapy causing what type of anemia then this folate deficiency type of megaloblastic anemia and the second important complication phenytoin may disturb vitamin k activity we know vitamin k important for clotting so my phenytoin when disturbing the vitamin k activity mean it may cause hemorrhagic problem so another problem bleeding hemorrhagic problem and third most important problem phenytoin not only disturbing the vitamin k it also disturbs vitamin d activity vitamin d we know involved in bone mineralization so when they going to disturb vitamin d activity resulting in bone problem in the form of osteomalacia here two point you should know actually there is a role for vitamin k also in bone health for example vitamin k involved in bone matrix formation bone matrix formation whereas vitamin d involved in bone mineralization that mean for the treatment of bone problem due to phenytoin toxicity mean we should supplement both vitamin d and vitamin k both are important for correcting the bone pathology caused by phenytoin all these are hematological complications of phenytoin next point phenytoin may cause hypersensitivity reaction in the form of lymphadenopathy with reduced iga level here what you should know down is usually the hypersensitivity reaction may be in the form of allergy atrophic area or skin rashes but here phenytoin causing hypersensitivity reaction in the form of lymph node enlargement look at here lymph node enlargement sometime there will be large number of lymph nodes may be enlarged if you look at the patient immediately it may looking like lymphoma resembling looking like heart shield lymphoma actually it is not a cancer actually it is not a lymphoma but looking like lymphoma thus why this condition called as pseudo lymphoma this is also important mc question which is the drug causing side effect of pseudo lymphoma mean phenytoin as a hypersensitivity reaction causing pseudo lymphoma problem next point phenytoin may causes hirsutism side effect in female there will be excessive facial hair growth in the form of hirsutism another very important problem on chronic therapy phenytoin causes hyperglycemia that mean diabetes here two point you should know how phenytoin causing side effect of hyperglycemia the reason is 
phenytoin inhibits insulin release from the beta cells of pancreas because of inhibiting insulin release from beta cell of pancreas it causes hyperglycemia it is called diabetes based on this point one more point you should think that is because of inhibiting insulin release phenytoin can be tried for treatment of insulinoma insulinoma is a condition where there is a insulin secreting beta cell tumor insulinoma in this patient patient going for repeatedly hypoglycemia so to correct the hypoglycemia i can use phenytoin because phenytoin causes hyperglycemia by inhibiting insulin release but in this junction you should know one more aims question that question is usually for treatment of insulinoma we have one drug called diazoxide diazoxide is a potassium channel opener useful for insulinoma other than diazoxide one more drug useful for insulinomin think of phenytoin anyway our topic phenytoin phenytoin causing hyperglycemia because of inhibiting insulin release all the problems are problem on chronic therapy but when you look at the problem on chronic therapy all the problem look at the spelling gum hypertrophy look at h hematological complication start with h hypersensitivity reaction starting with the letter h hirsutism starting with the h hyperglycemia starting with this. that mean you can frame a mnemonic the mnemonic for adverse effect of phenytoin and chronic therapy all the problem starts with the letter h hypotrophic gum hirsutism hyperglycemia like that okay and the last one more interesting point you should know any anti epileptic when given to treat epilepsy in pregnancy may cause fetal damage teratogenicity so phenytoin also a teratogen okay phenytoin causing teratogenicity it is called fetal hydantoin syndrome fetal hydantoin syndrome here two points actually phenytoin produces one metabolites called as arene oxide this metabolite may cause fetal damage what are the clinical manifestation of fetal hydantoin syndrome for this use one mnemonic simply cpm c for cleft lip and cleft palate p for hypoplastic phalanges phalanges mean finger finger become flabby and m for microcephaly so all are important clinical manifestation of fetal hydantoin syndrome so doctor what we so far discussed is phenytoin mechanism action phenytoin kinetic part and then phenytoin toxicity acute toxicity and chronic toxicity finally we are going to finish the video by using uses of phenytoin see we know phenytoin important anti epileptic agent but you should know other than epilepsy phenytoin also having some non epileptic uses this point important what are all the important non epileptic uses of phenytoin number 1 phenytoin useful for treatment of trigeminal neuralgia useful for digoxin induced ventricular tachycardia and also useful for treatment of wound healing here i go one by one first wound healing look okay. how phenytoin useful for treatment of wound healing that is we know phenytoin having a side effect of causing gum hypertrophy that is due to collagen accumulation based on that property what i'm going to do when i crush the phenytoin tablet and putting the phenytoin powder in the wound the wound will close because of collagen accumulation next mc question phenytoin having anti arrhythmic property there be useful for treatment of digoxin induced vt but you should know when is a phenytoin having anti arrhythmic property mean you should know it comes under which class of anti arrhythmic agent it comes under class 1b class 1b sodium channel blocking class 1b drug and finally phenytoin is also very useful for treatment of trigeminal neuralgia 
but for trigeminal neuralgia drug of choice is carbamazepine but this is also useful that mean what we done so far phenytoin mechanical action phenytoin kinetic phenytoin toxicity and also we discuss about phenytoin uses finally only one point phenytoin is a microsomal enzyme inducer because of that when i give phenytoin with the other drug the other drug get easily get metabolized and going for other drug failure remember phenytoin having microsomal enzyme induction property all these are important about phenytoin